welcome back to my channel i have for you guys today my november favorites so i'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys the things that i was really enjoying for the month of november Okay, so the first thing I have for you guys today was my favorite scent this month. You guys should not be surprised because I talked about it in my October favorites. And this is from Harvey Prince, the Petalie Noir. And I finally got the full-size bottle. And this is what it looks like. And this smells so amazing. This has such a nice, sweet, and spicy scent. Like I told you, I don't have any perfume on today, so I put some on. And I just love it. It's just very, like, musky and sweet at the same time. So for those of you who are looking for something... Um, and you don't really like the generally more really musky musky scents, I really recommend this Harvey Prince Petalie Noir. So the next thing I have for you guys is my powder that I've been using this month and it's from MAC and it's in the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. And when I first got this, I used it quite a bit but then I felt like it didn't really match me or maybe I just wasn't using it the right way but I absolutely love it to set my um, Pro Longwear Concealer on here so it doesn't have that drastic line of demarcation from here to here and I absolutely love this powder and it just doesn't look cakey or anything and I just really enjoy it quite a bit and I'm not sure about the price but I'll have it in the video and um, the packaging, this is the old packaging and the new packaging is so pretty I can't wait till this one's finished so that I can get the new packaging so the next thing I have for you guys are my favorite eyelashes that I've been wearing. I have to say that I have become a huge fan of House of Lashes. I really like multiple styles that they do have and these are the Temptress Wispies. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not. And this is what they look like and I absolutely love them. I specifically did not wear them today so you guys could just see them in the um, packaging what they look like. I believe these are like $9. They were sold out. I wanted to restock on them when they had the cyber sale. And um, these eyelashes, I'm actually wearing them um, in a couple of my pictures on Instagram. So just follow me on Instagram. I'll insert that um, over here somewhere in the video. <laughs> um, so you guys can go check out what that style looks like on. But I absolutely love these. They're just natural. And these are actually taking over the place of my sirens. I never thought one another style would, but these are definitely taking their place. So the next thing I have for you guys is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Go Brow Palette in the Brunette. This is only $16 at Sephora. If you guys can find it, definitely try it. This is a great way to be introduced to her brow products. They're absolutely amazing and fabulous. And I still do like my Dip Brow Pomade. But for some reason, I just kept reaching for this more than the pomade this month. I have for you guys is new to my routine. It's something that I really don't ever do because I wear, although I have like a lot of hair, my hair is very fine. And if I put too much stuff on it, it does weigh it down. So I was very surprised that I was reaching for this. But it's the Oriva Super Fine Hairspray and um, I got this in a pop sugar box and I absolutely love the way it smells one and two what I love about it is that you put it in your hair and it doesn't your hair doesn't feel tacky doesn't feel hard and it does brush out and it does help lay down your hair um, in my video I think it's the glossy box one the way I styled my hair I used this and I actually loved it because it just kept my hair in place and nice and flat and all the flyaways so this is really good too if you tend to get a lot of flyaways just spray a little bit on your brush and then comb it through your hair and it really helps lay down those flyaways all day and your hair does not feel tacky or sticky because that's one of the reasons why I stayed away from hairspray absolutely love this highly recommend it so the next thing I have for you guys is from Be Delectable and this is from Cake Beauty. So the company's called Cake Beauty and this is Be Delectable and this is the Coconut and Cream Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream and I got this in my Ipsy bag and I absolutely love the way it smells. Every time I put it on I just can't help but smell my hand. It smells like coconut pineapple cake. It reminds me of my childhood when um, my mom used to make cakes and she used to put the pineapple um, filling. You guys if you know what I'm talking about let me know in the comment section. You know where you slice up the cake and you fill it in with some kind of a jam. My mom would either use um, guava or pineapple and I absolutely love coconut so this is really hydrating and it smells so good so I've been reaching a lot for this for the entire month of November so if you guys haven't tried this I'll definitely pick it up I believe I found that they sell it on Kohl's if I'm correct if I'm not correct I'll correct myself but I'll have all the information in the description box as always but this smells amazing I absolutely love it and the next thing I've been using a lot like this is becoming a holy grail item it is from mac also and this is the prolong concealer and this is the nc30 i'm seriously considering once uh, my other studio finish is finished finished i didn't mean to say that twice uh to get this in, in w30 because i like that w to take off the dark and i like this because it, it really brightens the eye and it, it just like i mentioned before it just fills in here because i feel like this looks kind of sunken in sometimes but with this concealer it feels like it just pops up my face and makes me look more awake and more revived so i absolutely love this so if you are contemplating getting this yes um it's you know it's a hefty price but like you don't need a lot and you can seriously cover your whole face with this if you wanted to just with the little bit you get on your finger it's just 
that potent and that strong and i can see why so many people have raved about this product and have said that it has to be something you have to purchase i absolutely love it so i definitely highly recommend this as well the next thing i have for you guys is my chapstick that i've been using on this is a repurchase i think this is like my fourth one and this is the vanilla creme this is the eight hour hydration lock this is so moisturizing on lips and it smells so good you guys know how i feel about my vanilla and i got this for the first time in a birch box and i'm so happy that i did because i keep repurchasing this on walmart.com because i can never seem to find it anywhere else the only place that i think you might be able to find is walgreens if you're lucky because it sells out that quickly that's how good this stuff is the next thing i have for you guys is my foundation i'm actually wearing it today and i bought a shade lighter because of the toasted beige although it matches me perfectly in the summertime in the wintertime i find like it's too yellow so i decided to get i'm um, all the rage beige and this is from benefit cosmetics and this is the hello flawless oxygen wow brightening sunscreen makeup and i could see why so many people love this it just gives you this really like glow within look and it's matte at the same time so it's like a beautiful satin finish and it just lasts all day and what i like about it is that you can push really sheer it out and make it look as natural as possible and you can really um double up on the coverage and give yourself more of a full coverage so i really recommend this for those of you who have any type of skin whether it's dry normal combination or oily i think this would just work on anyone and just looks amazing and i believe the price is this is anywhere from 32 to 37 dollars i'm 100 of the price exact but like always i have it in the video and this is like I mentioned, I'm all the rage beige. So if you're wondering if you are NC40, you should definitely get this one because it does oxidize and it gets a little bit more yellow if you're not sure about the toasted beige. But if you're more closer to NC42, then definitely get the toasted beige. That's just my recommendation. So the next thing I have for you guys, I'm wearing it on my nails today. And this is the Sephora by OPI Metro Chic. And I gotta be honest, the first time I wore this polish when I first bought it, I wasn't crazy about it. I didn't know if I really liked it. But then it's like the more I wore it, the more it grew on me. And I actually think it's the perfect fall shade. I know it's a limited edition. They don't sell these anymore. But definitely, if I could find any possible dupes for you guys, I will list it in the description box. Hopefully, I do not forget. And um, yeah, because I think this is an amazing um, polish. And it's long-lasting. It wears all day. And I seriously would take it off on a chip. And then I was like, okay, let me try something else. And I'm like, no, I really want to put this back on. And even today, I was going to wear my Zoya on your color i wanted something cranberry and then i was like no 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 i'm just gonna wear this one because i really really like this color so maybe it might be in my next month's favorites as well we'll see but i actually love this shade and again this is metro chic by sephora by opi so the next thing i have for you guys is from m cosmetics now i stopped using this water liner because they do not have it anymore in stock online and i'm hoping they'll bring it back soon because i did text them and they said that definitely they're bringing it back and this is rose gold and i've been putting this in my waterline and i absolutely love this eyeliner it's just amazing it gives you that nice opened up look and it doesn't make you look um like you literally put a nude liner on your line because you know some nude liners make your eyes look really really fake i like this because it looks more natural and i believe these are 18 dollars so again this is the rose gold from m cosmetics so keep your eyes out for that hopefully they will bring this back very very soon so let's talk about what's on my lips today i am wearing max vino lip liner i have not been able to put this lip liner down since i think what since end of september i have been just using this i don't know what it is because um, I've had this forever and I just really didn't pay attention to it but I've just gotten more into it and I absolutely love the shade from MAC and it's Vino and it's a really nice shade. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand in a minute. In a minute is what I'm trying to say. And then with combination with MAC's matte lipstick in Fashion Revival. This, I am so happy I did not return this uh, lipstick. It is just the best cranberry shade you could possibly wear for the winter time i love this more than rebel please don't hate me and a lot of people love rebel but i absolutely love this shade more than i do rebel and what i like about vino is like it just like blends in perfectly with it so this is what that looks like hope you guys can see that so that's um i don't know if you can see that underneath that's vino and on top that's fashion revival so if you guys can find this definitely pick it up i recommend it i think this is a shade that anyone could wear and i think it's perfect now for the you know uh how everyone now wears a lot of cranberry burgundy tone lips i think that this is the perfect lip combination for everyone out there so definitely try vino with fashion revival and let me know if you do because i think mac products are just phenomenal so the other thing that I've been using a lot this month is from Anastasia. This is the Contour Kit. This is the original one they came out. And now they have, according to your skin tone, like medium, medium dark. Um, and you can get them 
pretty much anywhere now so that's that's good it's not limited to one place but the the shade that definitely i have been using which i didn't think i would use because it's so light and it's this shade right here and it's fawn um i've been using this more to contour lately i don't know why I just i thought it would be too light but it's been working really well and this is the one i've been using so that's fawn from anastasia beverly hills i think this is an amazing palette i think it's a great gift idea so the other thing that i have from anastasia beverly hills i'm gonna tell you something right now this is not a sponsored video she did not pay me i don't even know who she is i mean i follow her on instagram but i'm sure she doesn't even know who i am um and it's sad that we have to say that in all our videos but you know i want to keep it real with you guys let you guys know what is going on you know if it's sponsored or not which i have never been sponsored but anyways off of sponsored videos so this is the maya mia palette if you guys have not picked this up you need to pick it up i absolutely love 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 this palette for $29 it's just amazing and um these shades right here deep brown I've been using it as a liner consistently this whole month um this shade right here nude has been going all over my eye as a base and this shade right here warm warm taupe has been my crease color with everything that I've worn and then sienna if I want to darken it up a little bit and this shade here glisten I wore these colors uh, for Thanksgiving and I posted a picture on Instagram I, I use Sienna on the lid <clears throat> warm taupe in the crease and I think I use caramel instead of Sienna but I absolutely love the shades um, they're so up my alley if you guys haven't picked it up definitely need to I know that I've seen it on Nordstrom I've seen it in Sephora, not Sephora I've seen it not on Ulta so if you guys haven't got it go check out Ulta and I know that they have it on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website as well. So this is definitely an amazing palette. I think she did a great job. So um, if you guys didn't know, I have the Amreezy palette too. I still love that palette. But for some reason, this was the one that I kept reaching for for this entire month. So if you guys haven't picked them up, you definitely should pick them up. I recently got the other one, the Tamana palette. I have yet to play with it. But I'm pretty sure it's going to become a favorite as well. So again, this is the Miami palette. So you love it. in $29, you can't beat that. I think this is an amazing starter um, palette for anyone who's starting out with their makeup is what i'm trying to say okay so my last beauty favorites for you guys are these blushes from makeup geek this is my z palette from sephora this is 28 dollars and this is another favorite of mine i really like it it's really kept me very um organized and everything so i have to mention these are the colors that i've been wearing and it is um summer fling absolutely love that shade and then this is the other one that i've been wearing since i first got my blushes and this is head over heels and then i've been mixing it with this one oh, I almost dropped that one on the floor um this one's called romance if you guys can see that so what i do is like say if i put on let me show you if i put on summer fling then i put a uh, romance on top and it gives me that nice highlight effect so i find like with mixing this with either or i don't have to put a highlight on and then if i wore head over heels then i take a little bit of, of romance and i put it on top and it gives me that nice um highlighted effect so i definitely recommend that um if you guys haven't tried any makeup blush blushes you should get these four this is infatuation summer fling romance and head over heels definitely recommend these blushes they are amazing i think they're nine to twelve dollars i'm not sure exactly of the price i will have that in the video as always but these blushes are amazing they have become my blushes that i go to and i can see why so many people have raved about them they're just awesome marlena did an amazing job with these um blushes and i love her eyeshadow as well but we're, we're talking about the blushes right now all right so let's talk about my non-beauty favorites my non-beauty favorites this month were definitely kind of all over the place but um, I've been watching, I've been trying to catch up on my TV shows and stuff like that. But two TV shows that I want to mention that are brand new and I think they are hilarious. Um, one is the McCarthy's. I don't know if you guys have watched it, but um, Laurie Metcalf is in it. And she was originally, the first time I ever saw her was on the show Roseanne. That should tell you how long time ago it was. And I think she's a phenomenal actress and she's funny. And I actually love that show. I think it's hilarious every time I watch it. It makes me laugh. And the other TV show that I want to mention is called The Mysteries of Laura. And it's directed by Mick G, which I absolutely love his work. He doesn't get enough um, credit if you ask me. I think he's a phenomenal director. And it has um, Deborah Messing in it. And I absolutely love Deborah Messing. Everything that she's in, I, I think she is really, really funny. I loved her on Will and & Grace. And um, she's just, I have nothing but good things to say about her. I think she's just an amazing 
amazing amazing amazing actress <laughs> so definitely if you guys haven't checked out those two shows you should definitely check them out so the other non-beauty item that i have for you guys is this frame i had a display there just took it out so you guys can see it and it says every gal needs a little glam from kendra scott this is a, a, a coupon that we got it's on the back of it <laughs> from pop sugar as well and this frame i got it in a pop sugar box and i absolutely love it i think this is amazing if you want to just write like a personalized note or print something out and just stick it in here so you look at it every day so kind of like a daily affirmation and i just stuck this in there because i like the colors and it goes with my um new harry juku lovers perfumes that i got i got those on hsn.com if you guys are wondering and this is called the pop electric i actually love it for display i haven't sprayed them or anything even though i do like all the scents because for me i bought them more so they can just kind of be like a piece of heart so i really like this a lot this is really really just i like the way it brings everything out in my room Okay everyone, so that's everything that I have for you guys today of my November beauty favorites and my non-beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what was your favorite item from this video and what were your November favorites. I'm always interested to know. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys in my next upcoming video. Bye!